Now at 11, we continue to work developing news on police brutality. A specific case, the judge has thrown out the assault conviction of a Providence police detective. It was breaking news at 5. We've been following this case for years. Eyewitness News first brought you this video in 2009 showing Detective Robert DiCarlo kicking and beating Louis Mendonca with a flashlight. Today, a judge declared a mistrial in the case. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik has been working on the story all night. She joins us with the developing details. Well, yes, Detective Robert DiCarlo was found guilty of beating Louis Mendonca back in April, and now this mistrial could change everything. It was surveillance video that was shown over and over on TV and in court, and now it appears as if Providence Police Detective Robert DiCarlo is temporarily off the hook in the beating of Louis Mendonca. He's feeling better today than he was for the last several months. Michael Colucci, who is Detective DiCarlo's attorney, asked for the mistrial shortly after DiCarlo was found guilty. The court today agreed, in essence, that he did not get that fair trial for a number of reasons, uh, including several instances of unfair commentary. But Mendonca's attorney disagrees. I'm really disappointed. I'm shocked. I hope Peter Kilmartin would do the right thing and either appeal or retry this case. In his decision, Judge Francis Darrigan Jr. said the state prosecutor went overboard in her closing argument. And while the attorney general's office says they, quote, respectfully disagree with the judge's decision, our Eyewitness News legal analyst Lou Polner says the jury is always instructed. Statements made in closing arguments should never be considered as evidence. She must have made some very egregious statements to the jury that so prejudiced them that the judge felt the only reasonable decision was to grant a mistrial. Now it's up to the Attorney General's office to decide what to do next. I have a feeling that based upon what I believe happened in this case that they will probably move forward to a new trial. And no word right now from the Attorney General's office on whether or not they will seek a retrial or not. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Katherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.